friends. Um, part one, the last episode where I gave an update on the garage, it looked like this. I left it like this. And well, now, a week and a half later, it uh, definitely looks a good amount different. Here's the story. At this stage of the garage build, there's still such an overwhelming list of things to do that I find myself preferring procrastination over productivity most days because some tasks are just too daunting for my level of experience and aloneness, is that a word? Most pressing being the fascia board mounting and sheeting the roof. A job near impossible done alone, even for an experienced carpenter. Luckily, I was able to enlist the help of my friends Dave and Mitchell of Graham and Butler Contracting to come in on their holiday Monday and get this task out of the way. The roof sheeting was on in about three hours and it made the whole project feel like it moved forward by light years. I can't fully explain how motivating seeing that kind of progress on a project is, but when Dave and Mitchell left for the day, I was fired up to get the rest of the building sheeted in because it was gonna be so exciting to see it done. The added motivation for really wanting a positive outcome for this update video really fed that fire as well and kept me on task better than usual. For some reason, I didn't think to use my staging on this side for these sheets, which was stupid. Uh, but hey, the sheets got up there nonetheless, and I didn't die, which was good. It's gonna be really dark in here for a while. So, so I was putting up the, the sheathing up there, finishing up the gable end. Now there's a two by four, you can kind of see it, that was put in to hold the trusses from, well, the gable end trusses from falling off when I put it up. Um, as I was trying to take that off, I noticed that the building actually it does shake a little bit, which is to be expected, the building's not done. I thought, I don't know, if we're gonna be wall riding these walls, this seems to move a little bit more than I would kind of want. So thankfully, I have all these, like these off cuts from framing the walls that are actually, that are actually just big enough to be able to have a little bit trimmed off of them so that I can put a bunch of stiffeners in between all of the wall studs and hopefully the whole place just rigids right up. That's the hope anyway. Slow process in the end will definitely be worth it. I'm kind of excited to see how much of a difference adding those in makes. Right, so speaking of staying on task, uh, back to sheeting up the entire building and getting it uh, done. The process is kind of slow and annoying, having to climb up and down, staging and ladders all day. 
but every sheet is noticeable progress that's hard not to appreciate every time you step back to have a look. Moving this stabilizing gable end truss two by four was kind of an annoying task that I didn't want to do because I'm lazy, but it had to come off to finish the sheeting on the rear of the building. In the back, there's also an annoying amount of branches that needed to be cut so I could get the last of the boards in, which is just kind of one of those extra little steps that stifle progress when you already kind of want to call it a day. Like you're like, Ugh, this could be it. But I pressed on anyway. It's hard to not want to just like look at this from every angle instead of uh, actually doing something. <laughs> this is the last unangled board and then finishing up that gable end. And for some reason I didn't finish up that one. I don't know why. I think I was too excited to do this one. Eventually I did get to the last piece of the puzzle. sore and tired from the day, here was my step back and appreciate it reaction. So yeah, uh, as suspected, it is dark in here. This camera's actually doing a pretty good job of grabbing some of the light that it can through the big opening that is the garage door. But like back here, this, uh, this corner, dark. This corner, dark. It was to be expected. I built a building with zero windows, all because I, I want to control the light in here when the time comes, when electrical and light is in. I didn't want there to be any windows at all. No daylight coming in affecting any of the lighting whatsoever. I'm gonna do it all with ceiling LED lights. But yeah, huge feeling of accomplishment. It does feel super good to have this all boarded in. Obviously it's not watertight. Obviously there's still a good amount of work to do. I've still got to put all the roof paper on. I've got some stuff to do with the sheathing of the roof from the inside. Um, you know, the next update video is probably going to be it's going to look maybe no different, but there will be stuff done. Maybe the roof will be on. Uh, maybe I'll get some siding on, but really the progress inside here is, is yet to be determined. It's, there's still some work to be done. I think I've got another like four weeks, maybe, maybe six, six weeks before I get a garage door installed because it's a long wait. I've got to still get a man door and cut 
I've got to cut this. Um, this door is not just super tiny. I just, that's what we put on there. And then electrical, I should probably dig the trench before the ground gets really, really hard and frozen. So that'll be something I do in the next week and a half or so. And then I have to find someone who can come like wire this place so that it uh, is ready for the winter and then the building itself can be inspected. Also, uh, what else? There's gonna be comments about um, this. I guess this is called blocking. I didn't know that's what it was called. Uh, I put some here and then I wanted to put uh, the same sort of thing on opposing sides. So like there'll be another one up there here and then here, whatever. Um, hopefully it stiffens up the building nice and good. I could I could go on forever and ever, so I won't. I'll just I'll just see you in the next one.